Welcome to this Info Security Europe podcast. I'm Tim Ward, CEO and co-founder of Think Cybersecurity, and we deliver measurable, secure behaviour change for our customers. Uh, we do this through our award-winning Red Flag software, which is unique in the market in delivering real-time and context-aware security guidance. So we might nudge users when they're about to click a link in an email from an unknown sender, when they plug in a USB, when they visit certain websites, forget to lock their screen, connect to insecure Wi-Fi. These are all examples of delivering security interventions that take place before or as risky behaviours occur. So we're trying to steer staff towards secure decisions and reduce risk. So thinking about the biggest infosec threats that businesses are facing right now, I think the shift to working from home and, and then to hybrid working has created real issues. So there are new threats, things like insecure Wi-Fi at home, staff emailing things to personal accounts to print, sharing devices or use of, of shadow IT. But this is actually exacerbated by the change of context. So all the cues that we used to get from our context to act securely, so maybe you stood up from a desk in a busy office uh, and that helps you remember to lock your screen. All of those cues have gone. Uh, we've had to change our habits to work from home and now we're gonna have to change them again to move back to the office. So traditional awareness with quarterly or even annual cycles uh, of, of content creation has been too slow to adapt to this, uh, to adapt to the changing threats and the changing context. And this really matters because 90% of cyber attacks start with a human user. And this problem has been the same for quite a while. So traditional awareness that's, that's trying to tackle this clearly isn't working. We, we really do need to help users make secure decisions at points of risk. So what can companies do to prevent these threats? Well, security awareness should increasingly be about drip feeding short snippets of information directly to users with content creation cycles of more like hours or days rather than weeks or months. We need to be able to adapt quickly, minimize impact on staff, win this competition for attention, but still pass on key pieces of actionable advice. And understanding of behavioral science really helps us here. It helps us to see how we can and should deliver security awareness. E-learning simply isn't designed to solve this problem. It's designed for contexts where people are choosing to learn. And here we have a context where we need to make people learn. We've lost our physical cues uh, and behavioral theories tell us that all behavior needs some sort of trigger, some sort of cue to act. So we now need to create virtual cues towards secure behavior. We need to find ways of embedding security in people's day-to-day -day use of IT. For maximum impact when we do that, these interventions should apply some behavioral theories like the EAST model, for example, thinking about content that's easy, attractive, social, and really importantly, timely. Ideally, we're helping people exactly at the point that they're at risk. So if we can provide the right guidance at the right time, we can change the context and drive secure behaviors. So why is Information Security Europe important and particularly this year? Well, I think um, we all want to get back out there and, and meet people and, and network and, and, and we want to meet customers. And I think it's great for customers to, to meet suppliers with new innovation. So we've been at InfoSec since our inception as a business, initially winning a stand through the DCMS Innovation Competition. Um, but we went for years before that as InfoSec practitioners. Um, personally, I'm a real fan of the top floor. Uh, when we get to go face to face uh, and the innovation area where we, we always tend to get a stand. It's a fantastic place to meet CISOs and practitioners who are looking for something a bit different, something innovative, transformative and impactful, which are actually three words that were used to describe red flags when we recently won the Cyber Innovation Award this year. So we're going to keep coming back to InfoSec Europe to meet customers, to gather feedback and, and highlight our innovations. Thank you for listening to this InfoSecurity Europe podcast. Thank you.